dear students welcome to my classroom in previous parts of progressions chapter we learned about arithmetic progression and the key concepts about arithmetic progression and also we solved the problems related to arithmetic progression and its applications also and in this class we are going to learn about one more type of progressions and that is geometric progression let us see the definition of geometric progression a sequence of numbers in which each term is obtained by multiplying the preceding term by a fixed number except first term is called a geometric progression okay so in a sequence of numbers if each term is obtained by multiplying the preceding term by a fixed number then the sequence is said to be geometric progression and uh, let us see some illustrations uh, first one is 3 comma 6 comma 12 comma 24 comma 48 and so on in this example we can notice that uh, accepting first term take the second term the second term 6 is 3 into 2, that is 6 is obtained by uh, multiplying by 2 its preceding term and also 6 into 2 is 12, that is third term and 12 into 2 is 24, fourth term and 24 into 2 is 48, that is fifth term, that is each term is obtained by multiplying by two its preceding term isn't it each term of the sequence is obtained by multiplying the preceding term by two so these terms are in geometric progression and we denote the first term of a geometric progression by a and the number which we are multiplying with is called the common ratio of the progression and it is denoted by r so that is uh, in this in the given geometric progression common ratio is r is equal to 2 because we are multiplying by 2 3 into 2 6 6 into 2 12 12 into 2 24 and 24 into 2 48 in that way okay so let us see one more example 2 comma 10 comma 50 comma 250 comma 1250 and so on and in this sequence we have a 2 into 5 is equal to 10 and 10 into 5 is equal to 50 50 into 5 is equal to 250 250 into 5 is equal to 1250 so each term of the sequence is obtained by multiplying the preceding term by 5 except the first term so these terms are also in geometric progression. And in this geometric progression, common ratio is r equal to 5 and the first term is a equal to 2. Let us see one more example. 1 by 2, comma 1 by 8, comma 1 by 32, comma 1 by 20, 128, and so on. And in this sequence, we have 1 by 2 into 1 by 4 is equal to 1 by 8. And 1 by 4 into 1 by 8 is equal to 1 by 32. And 1 by 32 into 1 by 4 is equal to 1, and 1 by 1 and 128. So that is each term of this sequence is obtained by multiplying the preceding by term by 1 by 4. So these terms are in geometric progression in which who first term is 1 by 2 and the common ratio r is equal to 1 by 4. So one more example here. We have 0 0.2, 0 0.04, 0 0.008, 0 0.0016, and so on. So in this sequence also, 0 0.2 into 0 0.2 is 0 0.04, and 0 0.04 into 0 0.2 is 0 0.008, and similarly 0 0.008 into 0 0.2 is equal to 0 0.0016. So in this sequence also, each term is obtained by multiplying preceding term by 0 0.2, except the first term. So the terms in the sequence are in geometric progression 
whose first term is 0 0.2 and the common ratio is 0 0.2. Okay. So, if A is the first term of a geometric progression and R is the common ratio, then second term is A into R. And third term is AR into R, that is AR square. Fourth term is AR square into R, AR cube. Fifth term is AR cube into R, AR power 4. So, we can say that a, a geometric progression is of the form A, AR, AR square, AR cube, AR power 4, like that. And if A1, A2, A3, up to An minus 1 and An are in geometric progression, then A2 by A1 is equal to A3 by A2 equal to and like that An by An minus 1 is equal to common ratio R. So these terms are said, said to be in geometric progression if A2 by A1 is equal to A3 by A2 is equal to up to An by An minus 1. And the common form of the geometric progression is a comma ar comma ar square comma ar cube like that that is each term is multiplying by r with its preceding term okay so let's solve some examples some problems in exercise 6.4 the first one in which of the following situations does the list of numbers involved is in the form of a gp so first question is salary of Shermila when her salary is 5 lakh rupees for the first year and expected to receive yearly increase of 10%. So we have to check whether the numbers involved in these situations are in GP or not. Okay. So given Shermila's yearly salary is 5 lakh rupees and also given the data of annual increment is 10%. So let us see the year wise salaries of Shermila. So, Shermila's salary in first year is 5 lakh rupees. That is, take it as A1. And the Shermila's salary in second year is A2 is equal to 10% of increment on 5 lakhs. So, the salary in second year is 5 lakhs into 100 plus 10 by 100. That is, 110 by 100 is 5 lakhs, 50,000 50, rupees. And similarly, in third year is A3 is equal to, again, 10% increment on second year's salary, that is 5 lakhs 50,000 into 10% of 5 lakhs 50,000, that is 6 lakhs 5,000. And in fifth year, the sorry, fourth year, A4 is equal to, again, 10% increment on 6 lakhs 5,000. So including that increment, of a salary in fourth year is 6 lakhs 5,000 into 100 plus 10, that is 110 by 100 is equal to 6 lakhs 65,500 rupees. So, I like that. So, now let us verify whether these terms are in geometric progressions or not. So, now take A2 by A1. So, A2 by A1 is equal to 5 lakhs 50,000 by 5 lakhs which is equal to 11 by 10. And also A3 by A2 equal to 6 lakh 5,000 by 5 lakh 50,000. Again, simplifying this, we get 11 by 10. And also A4 by A3 is also equal to 11 by 10. So that is the common ratio throughout the sequence is same. That is every term is starting from the second can be obtained by multiplying its preceding term by a fixed number 11 by, 11 by 10. So hence given terms are in geometric progression. So let us take the second one. Number of bricks needed to make each step if the staircase has total 30 steps, provided the bottom step needs 100 bricks and each successive step needs two brick less than the previous step. So there are 30 steps. And the first step from bottom needs 100 bricks. And each successive step needs two bricks less than the previous step. That's the data given. So now 
number of bricks in first step from bottom is a1 is equal to 100 and the number of bricks in second step from bottom is a2 is equal to 2 less than a1 that is 100 minus 2 equal to 98 and the number of bricks in second step for third step from bottom is a3 equal to 98 minus 2 equal to 96 sorry number of checks is bricks in fourth step from bottom is a4 is equal to 2 less than 96 that is 94 so in that way we have the number of bricks in each step now let us check a2 by a1 is equal to 98 by 100 which is equal to 49 by 50 a3 by a2 is equal to 96 by 98 which is equal to 48 by 49 and a4 by a3 is equal to 94 by 96 and is equal to 47 by 48 so we can observe that these values are not equal that is the common ratio is not equal so as common ratio throughout the sequence is not same the numbers in given situations are not in geometric progression okay take the third one perimeter of the each triangle when the midpoints of sides of an equilateral triangle whose side is 24 cm are joined to form another triangle whose midpoints in turn are joined to form still another triangle and the process continues indefinitely so here the figure is also given so first one the triangle outside we are looking is an equilateral triangle whose side is 24 cm and the triangle inside to the south side triangle is joining the midpoints of the sides of the triangle and again we are forming another triangle by joining the midpoints of that triangle like that this process is continuing definitely so it is asking that the perimeters of the triangles are whether in geometric progression or not so we know that the perimeter of the equilateral triangle is 3 into side that is 3 into a where a is the side okay so perimeter of the triangle outside is a1 is equal to 3 into 24 72 and we know that the length of this line segment joining midpoints of two sides is half of the third side so now the length of the side of equilateral triangle is half of the 24 that is 12 so the perimeter of the triangle inside to first triangle is a2 is equal to 3 into 12 36 and similarly perimeter of the triangle inside to second triangle is a3 is equal to 3 into 6 that is half of the 12 6 18 18. and also in fourth uh, we have 3 into 3 9 like that and now take a2 by a1 a2 by a1 is equal to 36 by 72 it is equal to 1 by 2 a3 by a2 is 18 by 36 again equal to 1 by 2 a4 by a3 is again equal to 9 by 18 1 by 2 so as comma ratio throughout the sequence is same the numbers in given situation are in geometric progression now let us find the uh sorry just that's all take the fourth one sorry second question write three terms of the gp when the first term a and the comma ratio are given so here a equal to 4 r equal to 3 we have to find the next three terms so a equal to 4 is the first term and we need to find three more terms in that geometric progression so given first term is a equal to 4 and common ratio r equal to 3 then second term is we know that a into r that is 4 into 3 equal to 12 and the third term is ar square that is 4 into 3 square is 4 into 9 equal to 36 and fourth term is a into r cube that is 4 into 3 cube is equal to 108 so the next three terms are 12 36 and 
108. So the first term is a, second term is a into r, third term is a into r square, fourth term is a into r cube, like that. So take second one. A equal to root 5, r equal to 1 by 5. So given first term is a equal to root 5. Then the second term is, we know that a into r. That is root 5 into 1 by 5. So as 5 can be written as root 5 whole square and 1 by root 5 will be cancelled and we remain with 1 by root, 1 more root 5. And the third term is a r square is equal to root 5 into 1 by 5 square. That is 5 into 5, which is equal to 1 by 5 root 5. And the first term a r cube is equal to 1 by 25 root 5. Now, the next three terms of the given GPR, 1 by root 5, 1 by 5 root 5, 1 by 25 root 5. And take the third one. A equal to 81, R equal to minus 1 by 3. So the first term, A equal to 81. Second term is A into R. That is 81 into minus 1 by 3 is equal to minus 27. And A R square, 81 into minus 1 by 3 whole square. That is 81 into 1 by 9 is equal to 9. And fourth term is a r cube. That is 81 into minus 1 by 3 whole square is equal to 81 into minus 1 by 27 equal to minus 3. So the next three terms are minus 27, 9, and minus 3. Take one more. a is equal to 1 by 64, r equal to 2. So first term is a equal to 1 by 64. Second term is a into r is equal to 1 by 64 into 2. That is 1 by 32. And a into r square equal to 1 by 64 into 2 square, that is 1 by 64 into 4 equal to 1 by 16. And similarly, fourth term is 1 by h. So the next three terms are 1 by 32, 1 by 16, and 1 by h. So let's take third one. Which of the following are GP? If they are in GP, write next three terms. So the first sequence is given 4, comma, 8, comma, 16, and so on. So we had to check whether these terms are in GP or not. And if these terms are in GP, we need to find next three terms also. Okay. So given first term A1 equal to 4, A2 equal to 8, A3 equal to 16. If A2 by A1 is equal to A3 by A2, then we can say that these three terms are in geometric progression. And then we can find the next three terms also. So take a2 by a1. a2 by a1 equal to 8 by 4 is equal to 2. And a3 by a2 is equal to 16 by 8 is also equal to 2. That is common ratio throughout the sequence is same. Hence, given numbers are in GP with first term is a equal to 4 and common ratio is r equal to 2. Now, the fifth term, that is a4, so the fourth term a4 is equal to a r cube that is 4 into 2 cube equal to 4 into 8 32 and a5 is a r power 4 that is 4 into 2 power 4 which is equal to 64 and again a6 equal to r a r power 5 and equal to 128 so the next three terms are given gpr 32 64 128 so take next one 1 by 3, comma, minus 1 by 6, comma, 1 by 12, and so on. So the first term, a1 equal to 1 by 3, a2 equal to minus 1 by 6, a3 equal to 1 by 12. Take a2 by a1, that is minus 1 by 6 by 1 by 3. So 3, 2 are 6, we have so that minus 1 by 2. And a3 by a2 is also equal to similarly minus 1 by 2. That is common issue throughout the sequence is same. So the given numbers are in GP with first term a equal to 1 by 3 and common ratio r equal to minus 1 by 2. Now, a4 is equal to a r cube, that is 1 by 3 into minus 1 by 2 whole cube, which is equal to minus 1 by 24. a5 is equal to a r power 4, which is equal to 1 by 48. And a6 is equal to a r power 5, that is 1 by 3 into minus 1 by 2 power 5, minus 1 by 9 and 6. So, the next three terms in given GPR minus 1 by 24, 1 by 48, minus 1 by 96. Take the third one, 5, 55, 555, so on. 
So a1 equal to 5, a2 equal to 55, a3 equal to 555. a2 by a1 is equal to 55 by 5 equal to 11. a3 by a2 equal to 555 by 55, which is equal to 111 by 11. So as the common ratio is not the same, given terms are in, not in GP. Take fourth one, minus two, minus six, minus 18 and so on. So students, just I am presenting the problem. Just you watch carefully and try to understand. So the terms are in GP and I'm finding the next three terms. So next three terms are minus 54, minus 162, minus 486. Okay. So take fifth one, one by two, one by four, one by six. So here a1 equal to one by two, a2 equal to one by four, a3 is equal to one by six. Now a2 by a1 is equal to one by four by one by two is one by two. And a3 by a2 is equal to one by six by one by four is two threes are two twos, that is two by three. So there is common ratio is not same. So the given numbers are in, not in GP. Sixth one, three minus three square, three cube, like that. A2 by A1 is equal to minus three square by three is minus three. A3 by A2 is equal to three cube by minus three square, again minus three. So that given numbers are in GP. And the next term A4 is AR cube, is three into minus three cube is minus three power four. A5 is AR power four, that's three into minus three power four is three power five. And A6 is minus three power six. So the next three terms are minus three power four, comma three, five, three power five and minus three power six. So take the seventh one, X comma one comma one by X and so on. So A1 is equal to X, A2 equal to one, A3 equal to one by X. So A2 by A1, one by X. A3 by A2, one by X by one, again equal to one by X. That is the common ratio is same. Therefore given numbers are in GP. Now the fourth term A4 is equal to AR cube, that is X into one by X whole cube, that is one by X square. And similarly A5 is equal to one by X cube, A6 is equal to one by X power four. So these are the three terms, next three terms. Take eighth one. 1 by root 2 minus 2, 8 by root 2. So watch this problem carefully. So first term A1 is equal to 1 by root 2, A2 is equal to minus 2, A3 is equal to 8 by root 2. Now take A2 by A1, that is minus 2 by 1 by root 2, minus 2 root 2. And A3 by A2, 8 by root 2 by minus 2, that is minus 4 into 2 by 2 root 2. So we can cancel 2, 2 and we remains with minus two root two. So this common ratio is the same. Hence the given numbers are in GP with first term A equal to one by root two and common ratio are equal to minus two root two. Now the next three terms, A4 is equal to AR cube. That is one by root two into minus two root two whole cube is minus 16. And A5 is equal to AR power four is equal to one by two, one by root two into minus two root two whole power four is 32 root two. And similarly, A6 is minus 120 H. So these are the next three terms. Take the ninth one, 0 0.4, 0 0.04, 0 0.004 and so on. So here also I'm presenting the problem and not explaining, try to understand the problem, which is easy and like the same to previous problems. So that's why I'm not explaining, try to understand yourself. Okay, so next, take the fourth problem. Find x so that x comma x plus two comma x plus six are consecutive terms of a geometric progression. So students here it is given that x comma x plus two comma x plus six are consecutive terms of a geometric progression and we need to find x. Okay, so let's solve the problem. Even x comma x plus two and x plus six are in geometric progression. Now, as the three terms are geometric progression, 
then we have a1 is equal to x, a2 is equal to x plus 2, a3 is equal to x plus 6. And as these three terms are in geometric progression, we have a2 by a1 is equal to a3 by a2. There is a common issue is same. And a2 is equal to x plus 2, a1 is equal to x, a3 is x plus 6. So substitute the values of these terms in this equation. That is x plus 2 by x is equal to x plus 6 by x plus 2. And by class multiplication, we have x plus 2 into x plus 2 is x plus 2 whole square is equal to x into x plus 6. And it is of the, is of the form a plus b whole square and equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square that is x square plus 4x plus 4 is equal to x into x, x square plus 6 into x, 6x. X. And by transforming this x square to right side and 4x to left side, so we remains with the 4 equal to 2x that is x equal to 2. So therefore the value of x is equal to 2. Okay students, so that's all for today. And in next class, we are going to learn about nth term of a geometric progression. And also we solve the x 6.5. Until then, see you. Bye.